What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to the newest episode of It's a Rando. I know it's been a minute. It's Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. I can't wait the little finger symbol thing. That's Star Trek, right? Do they have like a... Don't look at me like that. I don't know this stuff. Get in, loser. You get the crazy dogs next door. Oh yeah, they always out there boxing. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so since today is Star Wars Day and Carrie Fisher is actually getting her star on the Walk of Fame, which did you see the drama surrounding that whole thing? Mm -hmm. You didn't see it? So no. apparently it was some stuff going on with uh, Billy Lord and Carrie Fisher's, I think, sister and brother. So apparently she felt that they were using her mom's death to their advantage, you know what I'm saying? And like trying to exploit it, get money, get popularity, get in the tabloids and stuff. So essentially she didn't invite them to Carrie's star ceremony today. Mm. So it's a little bit of drama already starting off. It ain't even happened yet. I feel bad about that whole thing. Cause ain't nobody, don't nobody got time for that. Yeah. That's too much. But- And it's, and it's a special occasion. That's I never what, understand that though. Like, you know, family members not here. You trying to take that for advantage, but hey, you never know. We don't we don't live with them. But let's be <laughs> real though. It's usually always events like that when the drama kicks off. It's mm -hmm. never peaceful. Usually at like graduations, weddings, funerals. Yeah, like, it's always like, who's something. getting this, who's getting that. Yeah, it shouldn't even come to that. It don't even, it shouldn't even matter. For real, it is not that deep. Just mm -hmm. honor that lady because of that series and be done with it. But whatever, I hope everything goes good with that. We gotta take the kids to school, so I'm not gonna be able to like, you know, watch it, watch it. I'll see, see like clips later or whatever from it. But um, so in honor of Star Wars Day, he made me watch all the movies. The Skywalker saga, I didn't put her through all the movies. It's more of them? Yeah, you got the TV shows, you got, you know, um, a solo movie, you have a Star Wars story, Rogue One, which takes place literally moments before episode four. I ain't doing all that. That's the that's the Skywalker. Well, that's mm -hmm. not part of the Skywalker saga. But you watched episodes one through six. The important ones. So anyway, he wants <laughs> whatever. He wants me to kind of react to the series. So I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna probably jumble everything up. So I, I'm, I'm not even gonna try to distinguish which one is which one. I mean, that's 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 the point of reaction. You have to know which one is which one. I'm gonna do what I can, okay? I'm not- This is where the fun begins. I'm letting you know I'm not big on this. So, um, you gotta help me out. The one where they were like trapped in this weird room that was like closing in on them. Which one was that? Episode four. Okay. That one was probably my favorite one. A New Hope. Sure. If that's the name of that's it. That's the, that's, honestly, that's the very first Star Wars movie. Wait. So when, when like Carrie Fisher's character, um, what's his name? Solo. Han Solo. Yeah. yeah. And then that other dude. It was somebody else, wasn't it? Well, when yeah, they were Luke. like, yeah, when they were like trapped inside of a pit that Her was brother. like closing in. Oh, mm. right, right, right. She does have a brother. Look, I, I already said I ain't. I'm trying, I promise I am. But that one was probably my favorite one. You're gonna get a lot of hate for that. Don't do not do this to me, I'm trying today. I'm just, I'm just letting you know you gotta be prepared. Whatever, I'm, I'm attempting here. Many unbearable hours later. That one was probably my favorite one, but to be honest, once they all kinda got together as a group and started going on their Scooby-Doo adventures, that's when the series started to kind of catch me a little bit more. Yeah, they okay. was like all together going going through stuff, saving each other, helping each other out. I think Han was actually my favorite one. I That's a him lot the best. of people's favorite character yeah. in the original trilogy. I liked him, he was fun. And I didn't expect him to be the fun one. I'm not even gonna lie, but I liked him a lot. I mean, he was a realist. I, yeah, I think he's my favorite character out of that series. You, yeah. I wanted to like Carrie Fisher's character more. Like she wasn't bad, but Han, I guess, 
stuck out to me more. It wasn't until, I don't know, which one was the one where they like, I'm assuming Carrie Fisher was dead at this, this point because how they arranged the movie. The last one, right? You know what I'm saying? When they were trapped in almost like a giant garage space and she was tapping into the force, right? To like talk to Luke or something. Nah, that was, that was the last one. Yeah, that's what I said. That was uh, Rise of the Skywalker. Yeah, the last one that we had seen. Yeah, that was the Rise of... That's when she died. That was Rise of the Skywalker. That one, I liked how they tied in the emotional aspects of everything. Because they really did make you feel more for her character and stuff. Especially after watching them all straight through. You know, you saw her so young. And then to, to see her in her older ages. And being better with the Force, too. One thing about that Rise of Skywalker, what I liked is they actually showed her Jedi training. Oh yeah, that, that was cute. They did, they did. And that was like, that was CGI together, wasn't it? They mm -hmm. did a really good job with that too. Like actually showing something that they didn't film ahead of time and making it look real. They did a good job with that. Um, but that one really tied you in emotionally more to Leia. You know, because it showed her progression all the way throughout. And then that was the one Billy Lord was in too, right? Yeah. Wasn't she like one of her sidekicks, commanders, or something like that something on the ship? Like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was cute. Um, trying to think of what else. Obviously, shout out to the Wookiees. They were my favorite before I knew anything about Star Wars, the giant teddy bear dudes. I'm calling them teddy bears. Leave me alone. I'm just letting you talk on this one. What? I'm, I'm doing what I, I'm trying. Wait, I, I remember stuff by nicknames. So like... Mm -hmm. So you know you're from Chicago. <laughs> that's how I function. So like the Wookiees are the teddy bear dudes to me. And then Yoda, what was I calling him before in high school? Because I had a nickname for him too, because I can ne never actually like remember what his actual name was, but he had like a little nickname. That's how I remember Yoda. But look, don't judge me. I'm trying. Okay. But yes, the Star Wars series, if I had to rate it. You you you, you totally skipped over a handful of movies. What? I know it's more. Those are kind of like, I mean, we yeah. also watched the one. You where... gotta you gotta do the prequels too. You gotta do. Fine. What? You gotta do the Empire Strike Back. I don't remember all that. You gotta do uh, the Return of the Jedi. You're skipping over some important stuff. You just did. I you didn't. you went straight from episode four so? to the the sequel trilogy. I'm trying. You can't sit with us. So the one guy. Okay, so when the new characters come in, the dude. I can't remember his name. Shows you how much she paid attention. I'm paying attention. Like for one, I didn't like dude's voice. Ooh. The fake, the discount Darth Vader that came in. What's his name? Kylo Ren. Yes. The the his Darth Vader's grandson. Yes. Hated his voice. Hated him as a character. Sorry. His face is. I don't think nobody really liked him. Yeah. But I don't know. He wasn't stand out to me. He kind of seemed whiny more than anything as a villain. So it was hard to take him seriously as a villain, in my opinion. And then when. The girl's name is Ray, right? Yeah. I didn't really feel very much for that character watching that series. Like it wasn't as big of an emotional tie as to the original characters, but that's always the case usually. I think with her, the original script, she was supposed to be Obi-Wan's daughter, but they made her Emperor Palpatine's granddaughter. Why do they always try to tie him to the villain? I feel like that's too much, you know? It's kind of the same with- um. Because they were trying to do parallels like her and Kylo Ren were one and the same pretty much. Okay. But yeah, I feel like it did too much and it wasn't as effective. Um, it's kind of the same with like, now the Scream series actually was effective. We gonna get on that in a, in a whole nother video, but like how they made uh, that girl, Billy Loomis's daughter and showed her like struggling with the, the other side and stuff like that, the e evil in her and the good clashing together. I feel like they did it effectively. Star Wars, you kind of forget. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my opinion. See, the sequel trilogy 
people hated the sequel trilogy so much, they really started to realize that the prequels weren't that bad. Especially episode three. That's my favorite one. Episode three is my favorite one. That one is really the, the actual rise of Vader. Like when he becomes Vader. I feel like they were harsh on that too at the time. Because you were telling me how much people hated it. He was it the perfect. Hayden Christian though, was the perfect Anakin Skywalker. Mm -hmm. And we very rarely appreciate stuff when it happens. Sometimes it takes years, you know what I'm saying, to actually go back and appreciate it. Especially with the rise of social media and streaming. Yeah, because I think he even quit acting because of that. He totally and then did. Came, I think. And then just came back to this overwhelming love, which is amazing. Yeah, and then people actually showed how much they liked him and stuff. Yeah, because like he portray he portrayed Anakin, right? It's just people were just being so picky because they were so in love with the the you know the the trilogy before that one, the first three. Right. Like they didn't want, they didn't really want to let that go. But I will give them this: Phantom of the Menace and Attack of the Clones. I would say, yeah, I will put Attack of the Clones over Phantom of the Menace. But they all, but they, but they weren't as great. But Attack of the Clones is still a cult classic one, like uh, one that a lot of people really like, oh, no, but no, they don't no, really no. mention. I, I know. I don't know nothing about this. I'm, I'm just, I'm letting them know so they can know. I don't know nothing about this one. He, he, didn't, he didn't have me watch it, so I can't. Okay. Um. No, you finish. You, you, you're supposed to be, <laughs> you're supposed to be okay. talking about them. So the biggest takeaway from this too with me, I've always thought this. Because like in high school, he was into Star Wars. Had me doing like projects, trying to get me to watch the movies. It didn't work. But um, Ewan McGregor, is that how you say his name? That is the perfect person to play the role that he was in. He looks exactly, yeah. He looks just yeah. like the look cartoon. Hello there. <laughs> the dude. But yeah, they they uh yeah, that's why they brought him back for the Obi Wan show. They can't have nobody else play him. Yeah, he did a really good job. They can't like, and he looks just like the character, because like this was a comic strip too, right? Yeah, and his movements and like the way that he acts as Obi Wan embodies how. Uh, I forget the actor's real name, but rest in peace to him. The original Ben Kenobi from you know episode four the old man from episode four mm -hmm. and like he really his mannerisms is, just, is exactly like him i gotta say too and the voice one of the movies i didn't particularly care for um it was the one i think it was anakin right when he was a kid that's the phantom of the menace that's the first one. Oh, and he was like flying the little aircraft things mm-hmm I can't lie, the first time you had me watch that, I kind of fell asleep. I don't lie, that was boring. It didn't yeah. get good until Dar Darth Maul came with his, uh, you know, twin blades. Yeah, like, I don't know. That, that one is forgettable. The only thing I remember is that he was, like, flying aircrafts and, like, sand dunes. And his parents got killed, right? Or something like that? No, his mom died in the second one. Mm. None of his parents died in the first one. That's when they went to recruit him in the first one. Well, they didn't technically go to recruit him. They stumbled upon him and they felt like this great force within him. Right. I'm trying here. <laughs> I'm just lucky I'm not confused. You look Star Trek. At if this you point. if you look at the poster for Episode One, like you see Anakin, the, the kid Anakin, and you look at the silhouette on the rock. The silhouette is dark, is, Va is Vader. Okay. That was pretty cool. A little Easter egg. And then Solo had his own TV show. No, he had a movie. Didn't he? Oh, it was a movie. You didn't even watch it. Well, you watched it when it... I think we went to the movies to see it when it first came out, but you don't remember nothing about that. I totally don't. I, I knew he had something standalone, but I didn't know. I didn't know we seen it. Why did Look, we do don't... this video? <laughs> I'll try it. But, too, we never actually did our reaction to this, and we watched this a long time ago. And he was trying to force me to do the reaction on it. So I'm doing it. I'm doing what he asked. I'm trying today. What do you think of episode three? Which one is that? Revenge of the Sith. Is that the one with Vader? You gotta give me well, more context. Anakin's an adult now when that's when he actually turns to the dark side. That's the one with um, Natalie Portman in there, right? She's in all of the three of the prequels. But I'm saying, is that the first one we see her in, right? When she's like pregnant? She finds out that she's pregnant? 
Well, yeah, that's the first one we see, yeah, when she finds out she's pregnant, but she's in all of them. Okay. She's in the, all first three. Oh, right, because this is when she was, like, undercover in the other ones, right? They didn't know who she was, mm -hmm. and she was just walking around? Okay, mm -hmm. okay. First, yeah. I got you now. Um, That one, I guess, is popular in its own right, because that's when we see the rise of Vader and all of that. The rise and fall. Well, actually, we see the fall of Anakin and the rise of Vader. Yeah, like they were they were good, don't get me wrong. They were outstanding. But for whatever reason, because I like Scooby Doo and stuff, the <laughs> the ones with uh solo Luke, you know, and all of them come together and I think it, it, it it's the one when they trapped in that space. Yeah. That four. one was my favorite one. Four. Yeah. Out of all of them, that one was. Yeah. They all had their own individual moments that made them popular and stuff like that. Like the one where Anakin is rising up and going to the Darth Vader side was interesting to see, especially when they put him in a suit at the end. I didn't quite expect no. that. And then him being cut up into pieces. Because of when they stuck him in the suit. Yeah. But like the big thing I like, why I like over the prequel, the why I like some of the pre the prequels a little bit over the original series, the lightsaber battles was so much better. The lightsaber battles in the first three movies were way freaking better than the ones in the the trilogy in the original trilogy. Lightsaber battles were way better. And like the best fight in the series, in my opinion, is the Obi Wan and Anakin fight on Mustafar. At the end of episode three, that was the best fight in every out of every movie. The names Mustafar. You know what's crazy? Vader builds his castle on Mustafar. He literally builds his castle, and then the window behind him is where he he stares out that window. Oh, he got chopped up. That, that that's what he. Yeah, about. he stares out that window and the hatred. I mean, hey, shouldn't turn to the dark side. Shouldn't have been that naive. So the TV show. Didn't that so Raven teach you that the future ain't always what it seems to be? Because he, he he was seeing visions of his wife dying. And that's what ultimately turned him to the dark side. The Emperor played him. Mm -hmm. Played on those emotions. And then the TV show Obi-Wan, which we watched too. It was alright. I liked it, yeah. but it was kind of mediocre. Yeah, and I don't I don't really know why, you know? Because like it was exciting to have those actors back but it was kind of unmemorable and i don't really know how that happened but it was no, there was a lot of memorable stuff in there for me it was with them like uh you saw them like, fight again you know that was cool like the emotion that he felt when he found out that anakin was alive because he thought he killed him mm -hmm. when he found out that he was alive and that he was vader he, he didn't know what to do with himself like he was like what and then we, I mean, and people kind of sleep on it too because they, they be kind of like I said, it's, it is mediocre, but it is also a good a good show because people were nitpicking and like we didn't. Have, that's the first time we actually got to really see what it was like a few years after Order sixty six, what it was like for Jedi to be on the run and hiding and stuff like that. The like before Obi Wan, the only you know the only before that show, the only thing that they had before that was Jedi Fallen Order, which takes place um, five years after uh, Revenge of the Sith with Cal. And that was showing how it was for Jedi to be on the run. All right. I really love that game. Mm -hmm. Jedi Survivor, we were doing a playthrough of that on YouTube now, so go check it out. <laughs> you might as well give a small opinion on what you've played so far. Oh, that's the best Star Wars game mm -hmm. I've ever played. It's the it's number one. Jedi Survivor is number one for me. That's just my opinion. Please I, give your opinion in the comments. That's just my opinion. I think two people are harsh on the visuals. It's not bad. Well, no, yeah, it's not bad. The performance, mm -hmm. just the frames just drop, but the gameplay is phenomenal. The game is really good. The story is pretty good. Like just seeing him, like how he was in Fallen Order, just this kid that was trying to get back in tune with the force and was kind of nervous and scared about stuff to becoming this cocky and confident jedi knight in the second one that wasn't really afraid of anything yeah and um i don't know visually this game is pretty nice i like 
customization. I like the customization yeah. in this game. Yeah, that was nice too, how you can change his face, his beard, all of that. And the lightsaber stuff is pretty cool too. And I'm not even re really like a huge Star Wars person, but like the, uh, the you got the one lightsaber that's like, uh, what do they call it? The duel when it's two on one. The double bladed? Yeah. And then you can like break them apart. And the you dual got two. wield. Yeah. That's my favorite stance. The dual wield and the cross guard. Because the car cross guard is the high, Repu I, I want to call it, it's not a high republic saber, but it it's the, 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 the sword that um, Kylo Ren was using, the, the lightsaber that Kylo Ren was using in episode seven. Well, just his lightsaber in general. Mm -hmm. With the the sword, the you know the light the laser that comes up, and then the ones that come up to the side. All right, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I that, didn't care for that one. No, I like it. That thing's strong as hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it. That I like the stances, the blaster stance. I'm trying to get used to. He uses the blaster, and then he and the lightsaber in the other hand. The, the sword stance, like it's like he's doing fencing. Mm, that's interesting to see. And then to have like the gun in the other hand. Mm -hmm. I don't really like the the gun. Is the gun like is strong that? as hell. Well, it's not. It, the gun is good, especially if you want to play from long range. Mm -hmm. Especially against those stupid droids who shoot those rockets at you. I just feel like most people will probably go to the lightsaber thing. No, the the, the blaster stance is one of the most po most popular ones. Mm. Call of Duty. But not not. I mean, just because it has it's a, a gun. It, it just hasn't been done yet. It's a whole gun. Well, anyway, I we're, I'm not even done with the game yet. We're playing it on <laughs> we're playing it on Grandmaster. We Grandmaster, but um, that Rancor and that in that in that part three video, it killed me over a hundred times. Just cut all of them out. Yeah, it was <laughs> the one that we posted only had about three minutes worth of death but it was more yeah it was way more yeah we had to cut it down i had to cut it down because i edited that video that was, was at i was at work so i couldn't edit it was really long so the 25 deaths you actually see it's more it it, it, it probably totaled to about 40 or 50 deaths and we had to cut it down because i didn't want it to be super long you know but it, it served its purpose but it was really bad that that fight obviously Yep. Just fair warning, the next video is not going to be that intense. I actually win something. Spoiler. Okay. I actually win something in that one. If you say so. But overall, with the whole Star Wars series thing, I guess it's only fair that I actually give a rating to it all. You didn't even do Attack of the Clones. I watched You them. didn't do Empire Strikes Back. I watched them. You didn't do Return of the Jedi. You made me watch them. Okay, so look. Uh, 7.5 I'll give it that um because 7.5 based off one movie that she liked okay if if, if a new hope was your your the best one you liked out of them what was the next one after that one um mm, I would say maybe the one where Anakin was rising up so 3 and 4 are your favorite yeah um, I feel like the new group of people that came in, were cool and all, I guess, but no emotional attachment. Yeah, that was the problem. Cause it's like when that's there, that makes everything stronger. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. So about it not being there, I'm, I'm a, I, I guess that's why my rating is so low. You know. But yeah. And then, then like the TV show was forgetful to me. You didn't even really watch it. I didn't watch it. What, what you mean? Didn't, you didn't and, really oh, watch O'Shea it. Jackson was in there too. See, yeah. I watched it. I paid attention. You don't think I pay attention to stuff? You fall asleep on. I everything. don't. Now Mandalorian. No. I gotta watch that. I haven't watched it yet. I've only seen maybe like two or three episodes of it. Oh, but I did see a clip recently of um, um, Luke offering Baby Yoda a spot. I guess as a Jedi. Yeah, he has to train him. He gave him a little, a little lightsaber. It was Yoda's, like the original Yoda's. And mm -hmm. he was saying that if he joined the Force, he would get the saber. And if he didn't, he could like take the. It was like a little bulletproof vest, mm -hmm. I guess, that the Mandalorian had made him. 
but he uh essentially was like making him choose between that and the mandalorian dude i'm gonna be honest i think that that baby yoda guy Gro his name is grogu by the way ain't nobody calling him hey, that. but yeah he i think he gonna be the first mandalorian jedi i'm gonna be honest that's just my theory hmm. But has um i don't know why his name is escaping me right now pedro pascal has he ever taken the mask off in that show or uh, he just oh no i haven't really i've only seen clips really i haven't seen okay like the show like i can't wait until they incorporate uh cameron monaghan's character into uh into the the series simply because his character is amazing yeah, I feel like it was kind of a missed opportunity to not have done that so far. Yeah. I feel I, like he would stand out more and po possibly bring new life into the series, I guess. But he, the reason why he's not in there yet is because the, the Jedi series is supposed to be a trilogy too. Mm -hmm. And it's shaping up to be one of the best trilogies in Star Wars. Uh, the third game, I think, is supposed to come out in 2027. And I think they're, they're about to basically do a bigger time skip for for the the next one and it's going to take place probably close to around or probably i would say close to around the time of return of the jedi i would guess because the way that they're doing it is fallen order five years from episode three then survivor five years from fallen order that's 10 years from episode three that puts them right in the exact time frame of the obi-wan show so while obi-wan is you know smuggling leia to get you know trying to get her back cal's over here on the other side of the galaxy fighting the galactic empire <laughs> like it's the it th that game takes place at the exact same time as obi-wan i don't know what's happening we needed you here for this you're important love you anyway yeah we got to get the kids dressed they got some doctor's appointments i gotta go to work so we'll see y'all at at some point in life remember to always like comment and subscribe if you enjoy the content don't hate me for not knowing star wars like that i tried today see ya bye bye